Let's talk about time frames. We have to establish a general rule of the fact that higher time frames have more significance than lower time frames. A one year chart where each bar signifies one year is going to be more significant than a weekly chart. A weekly chart is going to be more significant in its levels than looking at a daily chart. A daily chart is going to have more significant levels than a 240 minute chart. A 244 minute chart is going to have more significant levels than an hourly chart. An hourly chart is going to have more significant levels than a 30 minute chart. A 30 minute chart is going to have more significant levels than a 15 minute chart. A 15 minute chart is going to have more significant levels than a 10 minute chart. A 10 minute chart is going to have more significant levels than a 5 minute chart. A 5 minute chart is going to have more significant levels than a 1 minute chart. Now we could continue to drill down all the way into the individual ticks, but this is a general rule that we just have to accept because it's been proven over time. The fact that a swing in a higher time frame will almost always be affecting the swings in a lower time frame. That doesn't mean that a swing low on the daily charts means that there won't be any swings high on the hourly charts, but the daily swing will affect those hourly swings. That's why we like to trade along with the higher time frame. The higher time frame can give us indications on what will be happening in the market, and especially what will be happening on the lesser time frames. We like to find a general trend that's happening, so we always keep an eye out, say, on the daily trends. So if it's down day on day, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll mix that in with drilling down and taking a look at the 60-minute charts to see the highs and the lows. And then we, we want to pick a specific entry. We're going to drill down even further into the 15-minute charts to break apart those hourly bars to get an even better price for entry and possibly exit but we're basing all of our theories on a higher time frame than the one that we're entering on. The daily bars will provide resistance for your interday movements. The hourly bars will provide resistance for your 15 minute bars. This all has to do with the theory of multi time frame confluence. You're trying to find a confluence between a higher time frame and your lower time frame to give you the best possible entry. This is how we pick our entries where it reduces our risk and maximizes our potential for every trade. We don't want to be fighting the higher time frame in the lower time frame unless it's our specific strategy and we are fully aware that that's what we are doing for that strategy. Every day multiple important levels are going to be broken and it's our job as traders to know what levels to look out for whether they're the previous day's high and low, the previous day's close, the recent low in the market, the recent high in the market, or possibly going all the way back to looking at last year's close. All of these can affect your trade even on the five minute charts or one minute charts. So we have to be aware when we're getting near these levels on our trades and right before an entry or if we're just managing a trade that's already profitable and we have to see if we should maybe exit out of that trade early because one of these levels of higher resistance or support is being approached by the market. We'll even do a quick lesson here because I see this happening live right now on the hard right edge. There was news and that drove this market down. We're looking at the ES right now. And it actually made it fall all the way from about 1925 down to 1895 within an hour. And if you saw, as we were scrolling through the charts earlier in this video, this fall almost completely happened within a matter of minutes. But you can see it's even hitting a bit of resistance at this previous low 
and this previous low is also combined with the day's previous low. So this can cause a little bit of resistance in the market. It's things like this that we need to pay attention to every time that we trade. This is how we combine and tell a story of the market and the important, let's say, life events for this market during the year and how those might affect it in the coming days, weeks, or months. Another reason we have to pay attention to all these higher time frames is the fact that a lot of high volume traders are going to be using these as their reference. They're looking at the daily bars, whether they are closing with a lower high and a lower low than the previous day, if their close was lower or higher than the previous day's close. Something you'll often see, and this is just a tidbit, is the fact that at the end of the day, the markets will rally up. This is because the big fund managers want to push that day to have a higher close than the previous days. Because this is what a lot of other traders are looking at. They know that this will affect the next day because that is what traders with high volume behind their trading are looking at. In this video, we've gone over a lot of different time frames and established the rule with the fact that a higher time frame will often have relevance to all of the lower time frames below it. You should always keep an eye on these higher time frames even when trading time frames below them. Whether it be that you're trading the 1 minute charts, the 15 minute or the hourly, always be looking at at least the 50 minute above that, the 60 minute above that or possibly daily or weekly bars. They all have relevance within each other. And the lower that we go in the time frame, the more noise that we will get when we're trading. This noise, say in the five minute or one minute charts, can just be a large entry being made. Even though you might be making lower highs and lower lows, if, for instance, we're not looking at the 15 minute charts where the trend is obviously up, one trader that's looking at a higher time frame and dumping a lot of volume into the markets could completely wipe out all of the bars in a five minute or one minute chart. So it's always best to be mindful of what's happening on the higher time frames than the lower ones, even if we're trading lower time frames.